I really don't know what it is about F-150s and flat tires. Um, I had a 2001 F-150, probably, uh, this is probably around 2004 when it happened, and driving along, picked up my brother-in-law from the uh, airport, and sure enough, pull into a parking lot and get a flat tire just like this one. And, uh, of course, right now it's, it's pouring down rain and just nasty, and I had to put the spare on. This is bullshit. And friggin' Ford, you suck at the, uh, um, jack. Uh, it doesn't even, it doesn't even work. And I, there's, like, not enough, uh, of motion for it to go up to, to lift the tire off the ground. So, I had to go, thank God it was at home. But, uh, all right, now I gotta get to work. It's, uh, I'm already, like, an hour late now because of the... All right, Sunday morning. I've got a mail call here. This came in a couple days ago, but I gotta, um, get it up here. But, uh, the 88 Cantana 600, uh, sent me a couple stickers in this pretty cool little drawing. Much better than I would do. <clears throat> also... Um, off of Facebook, I, uh, found a guy out in Oregon that would, uh, do these, um, little vinyl placards for the inside of my, um, uh, identi- you know, hood identifier. So, normally where it says shipwreck there, it would say 100, and you can get those from, like, Dennis Carpenter or LMC, anything like that. But for, uh, like, 60 bucks, he made me two sets of these, so all they really are are just, um little plexiglass with vinyl stickers on them but uh anyway i named the truck this like way back when i got it and uh it's a screen name i use for one of my uh form boards so anyway i got these uh i'm gonna buy new um uh, trim pieces these are the ones that were on there and uh anyway i'm gonna buy new ones because these are all busted up but uh anyway they, look, they fit good and they look good so it's just something that you would probably never notice unless you got up close and, and then uh, it'd take you by surprise. But uh, all right, I'll bring you back. Um, actually, first, uh, I did another high coat um, <clears throat> or high build coat on here yesterday. Um, so now I'm just going to go ahead and uh, sand this down. I'm still working on the back here. You know, I didn't do a whole lot last week, but uh, here's the back I got to work on. So I've got a mix of filler, epoxy high build i've got that stuff all going crazy so anyway i still gotta finish this but everything else is in high build and uh looking pretty good so i gotta get this sanded down now if you own schnauzers you're getting uh you're getting hunters so this little guy here yesterday evening i was chasing a bunny and uh i thought the bunny had gotten away but really at six o'clock this morning my neighbor tells me I've got a dead bunny in the yard that was sitting right over there by the bird feeder, you know, stiff as a board, so I know it was him. He had to have done it. She just chases him, not clue, no clue about what to do, but he, he's my little hunter. But, uh, you can't be squeamish about dead critters when, when you own little dogs. Um, it's funny that happened yesterday, actually. Yesterday was the first of the month, and, and uh, as a kid, um, even to this day, my nana, my mother's mother, had uh, taught us... Uh, to say rabbits on the first of the month for good luck and you know it's an old cornish superstition and you know cornwall is from uh, the southern west tip of of england and anyway that's where my family comes from and so it's kind of a family tradition you say it on the first of the month and i've been doing that ever since i learned how to speak so anyway these uh these two try to get rabbits too on rabbits day all right i'll bring you back in a minute when i get more work done checking the tread depth of my uh, current tires i do this probably once a month or so and right now i'm sitting probably around a let's see if i can see this looks like a six six thirty seconds um originally these tires had uh like 13 30 seconds on them they're just good year wranglers that came on the uh came on the truck when it was new two and a half years ago um anyway so i know that this set is not going to make it through the winter um i've already had a few little slippage issues um i think back here it's just about the same um let's see here that one's just a tad under seven so <clears throat> anyway what i ended up doing is getting on um craigslist last night and you know a lot of people around here buy f-150s and then they jack them up so what i ended up doing was finding a pair or a set actually of uh Goodyear Wrangler, uh, same size, almost the same kind, I mean it's still the 275-65 R18s, um, they're uh, 
brand new. They were um, DOT is in uh, 43.15, so they're they're on the 2016 truck that the guy had bought and then lifted. So let's see if I can find the tread depth here. And we're looking at a little bit more. Man, can't focus. A little bit more than a 13. So for a couple hundred bucks, I I got this set, and that will get me another two years of uh, tires. I mean, that, the pair I have on here lasted 30,000 30, miles, 32,000 miles. So I'll put these on um, probably later on this month when we go get a wheel alignment. <clears throat> anyway, instead of spending like $900 just for a, a set of tires, um, you know, my biggest worry was getting through the winter. And these have awesome tread on them, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I don't know how I always get roped into doing these extra projects, but uh, this little moped here belongs to my next door neighbor that lives across the way anyway she has pretty much got that early stages of parkinson's she can't walk very well um can't do very much and she's had this thing and she hasn't ridden it since 2009 so i ended up draining the fuel system took the carb off cleaned up the carb um and this is the crap that i pulled out of that tank i mean this is just disgusting so anyway what I happened to do was working on this and her lawnmower over there to work on that too and she's in the backyard right now mowing her lawn with her other lawnmower I just fixed so anyway what, what I got going on here is since I was out here an older gentleman who had had a stroke um, he works on these for fun and then he sells them to all the all the little summer warriors that come out here during the during the holiday season so he's gonna take this and he's gonna work on it again I mean I could fix it right now but uh, he, he wanted it she was willing to sell it right away and uh, I'm gonna go deliver it to him but uh, now I gotta do all this clean up but I'm gonna get the place off and go deliver it all right folks um, I'm really not uh, out in the garage a whole lot in the last week or so only because work schedule and um, somebody's in the cone of shame Little uh, Hilda had to get fixed, so um, just kind of hanging out with her right now. And little Diesel wants my attention, obviously, and he wants to make sure his little bark box sister here is uh, doing all right. So, anyway, um, I'll catch back up with you guys um, probably in a couple weeks, in about a week or so. I'm actually taking the whole week off of work, so I'm gonna get back out in the garage and get my thing going on. So, all right, well, I'll uh, catch you all later. All right, take care.